The latest information we just got from DeKalb County Police is that their SWAT team was on scene here as some of those passengers exited the bus. One person shot, taken to the hospital, still trying to understand the circumstances of this shooting. We'll send it back to you guys as I try and get some more answers here on the ground. Yeah, and Patrick, while you were speaking, we just got an update from Atlanta Police on this situation, and we're reading through some of our notes at the same time about what they found, but we have just confirmed that person who was shot was in critical condition, but has now died as a result of what has happened this here today. This is absolutely tragic. We are unsure if this passenger was on the bus uh, headed to work, maybe possibly going home, but someone has lost their life in this police chase with a public transit bus. Uh, multiple people were hijacked on that bus. The latest information that we're getting just now from Atlanta police officers is that they initially responded to a report of gunfire on this bus and that it was a hostage situation near 45 Ivan Allen Jr. Boulevard Northeast. Once the officers arrived at the scene, the bus fled the location, according to police, and then that pursuit began. And, and this went, as we know, and as we followed this, it went through multiple areas, involved several agencies. And while this was happening, police used various tactics. They wanted to try to stop this bus, according to police. And it ultimately came to a stop where Patrick Quinn has been. But we've also learned more about the suspect. According to Atlanta police, that suspect is a 39-year-old male. He was taken into custody without any issues. And then once they were clearing that bus, that's when officers say they found an adult victim with that gunshot wound who later died. And if you look in the center of your screen and you look at the top of the bus, you see a digital billboard. During part of the pursuit, we noticed from our Atlanta News First, First Alert Chopper, that the words emergency began to blink on that digital billboard and then the message, call police 911. I know, Brendan Keith, you have been uh, asking questions of the police department, also from the Metro uh, bus department who handles this bus in Gwinnett County. Uh, who triggered that? Did the driver trigger that to say, I need help now? Or was this coming from dispatch? Is this an emergency response? If were they trained in case something like this happens?